Hey guys, who wants to build a snowman? Well, come with me. We are going to make an Elsa and an Anna from Frozen 2. So guys, I'm using plaster of Paris. This is how I make my little custom babies. I used to use my duplicate crybabies, but now I make my own little plaster of Paris versions out of a mold that I've made myself. So you mix up the plaster, fill up the mold, and out comes the baby. Tidy it up like this, and voila! We are ready to customize. So I'm starting with Anna, and I'm going to make her little plait hair accessory. So she's got like a little crown plait that goes over the top of her hair, and so I'm just making this out of air dry clay and I'm going to let that dry. There we go. Now I am going to set that aside to dry and I'm, as you can see in the background I've made Elsa's long hair. Now here I am making my crown for Anna because in this outfit she is Queen Anna. So this is her special gold crown. I'm gonna leave this to dry and then I will spray paint it gold and decorate it. So now I'm gonna start with my skin color. As you can see, Elsa's got more of a pinky tone to her skin and Elsa's got more of the beigey tone. So I'm going to paint Elsa's face first with a very light pink and then I will get to work on Anna. I'm gonna put maybe one or two coats on. Okay guys, now that I've done that, I'm going to start work on the doll's eyes. So I'm putting a couple of layers of white on first of all. Okay guys, now I'm going to start on the colour. So this is my blue-green paint and this one is my green-blue paint. <laughs> so one is slightly more blue, I'm going to use that for Elsa and the other is slightly more green which I'm using for Anna because they have slightly different bluey colour eyes. So here I'm just painting on the blues, then I'm painting in the black pupils and then I will get to work on the fine pen details and the eyelashes. Okay, yippee, it's a light reflection time. This is my favorite bit. I love dotting in the little light reflections on the eyes. It just wakes the doll up and brings them to life. So there is Anna's done. Let's give Elsa a couple of little light reflections. Oop, I'll just grab a bit more paint. And there we go. I am happy with those little eyes. Okay guys, on to the eyebrows. Both Elsa and Anna have got quite dark brown eyebrows, so I'm just gonna paint them over the crybabies. These crybabies actually have standout eyebrows, so I'm just gonna paint straight over them on my models. Ooh, I've gotta try not to get Elsa's hair there. Let's do that just a bit finer on the end, there we go. And now I'm going to do the lips. So, oops, Ooh, I went a bit skew there, guys. I'm gonna to have to paint that over with pink afterwards. But both Elsa and Anna have also got quite fine lips and they're quite dark. So I'm just going to try and paint, let's try and paint Anna's lips a bit more neater than I did the last ones. There we go, I love this color. And now I'm going to give her some little white teeth. Oh, she's so cute. I love these little cartoons, crybabies. These little babies are from the um, Keychain series. Um, I don't know if you've seen my other videos on them. They're fairly new from crybabies. They are from series one. There's 24 of them to collect and they all come in lots of different styles. Every one of them is slightly different. Um, and the models that I used for these ones, just in case you guys are interested, I used 
the lady model for Elsa and I used the Leah model for Anna but I have painted Leah with open eyes because on the Leah doll she has closed eyes but I think they're super cute aren't their little facial expressions and their little hands and everything are so sweet okay guys so while I've been talking uh, what I've done is I've painted Elsa some little purple eyeshadow and I've also given them some rosy cheeks I've given Anna some freckles and I am just giving Elsa some white teeth and I have also lightened off her mouth area because it was a bit too dark. So there we go. I think I'm done with those little faces and I think they look pretty cute. Okay guys, time to get on with my accessories. I'm going to use my spray paint. Ah! I spray painted my fingers more than I did the crown. Hmm. Anyway guys, so now I'm going to start work on Anna's hair and her hair plait. So I'm using some brown paint mixed with a bit of orange just to make it more of a, a coppery gingery colour. And I'm going to paint her crown and then I'm going to paint her whole head of hair. And once I've done that, I'll super glue her crown in place once all the paint is dry. Okay guys, Anna's hair is done, let's get to work on Elsa. So I'm going to use some of my pearly white paint and mix it in with my white paint and I'm going to just cover her whole hair in this white paint. So Elsa has loose hair at the end of Frozen 2 so that's why I've chosen to do this style. Now I'm going to get to work on Anna's outfit. Now I love her queen outfit. So I'm going to use my lovely, this, this is a lovely emeraldy green paint. It's a bit dark on film here so you can't see it as well. But it's um, a really dark green paint and then I'm going to add some black for her sleeves and the top part of her little, um, top part of her dress in her queen outfit. And she's got some gold shoes just to sparkle up her outfit a bit. For Elsa's outfit, I'm going to give her a coat of this pearly white all over and then I'm going to add a tiny bit of my blue paint in the background, just a tiny, tiny smidge. Oops, I'm going to add a little bit of pearly paint to her hair while I'm at it. So as you can see, her outfit is white up the top and it's got a bit of blue down the bottom. So I'm going to add that little hint of blue down the bottom. And then I'm going to stick these really cool horse eye gems onto the top of her dress because that's what it looks like in the picture. So now that I've done that I'm going to add the little gold buckle for Anna's outfit. She's got a little belt so there's her gold buckle and I will add some detail onto that afterwards. I'm now sticking on her hair because that's all dry. And we're back over to Elsa and I'm going to add in some white sparkly glitter to the top of her dress. Okay guys, now this was a fun bit, I love doing this. This is using my little gold special pen and I'm dotting on some gold detail onto her top. I'm trying to make it look as close to the picture as I can get it and these are the little black pen to do the rest of her black belt. And now I'm using the green paint again, it looks quite dark on screen but it is a dark green and I'm adding in the little details to her crown to get it as matching as close to Anna's queen crown as I can get it. And then again once this is all dry I will glue this onto her little hair in the right place. Adding a little bit more gold detail into the centre of our green parts of paint. And there we go. Okay guys, I've used some of this lovely teal and purple satin material and I've made a little shawl for Anna. Purple on the inside and um, that lovely teal colour on the outside. I'm just sealing the bottom of the fabric and I'm also going to seal my crown just to keep it nice and shiny. 
And now I'm back over to Elsa. I'm using this lovely tool material and I'm gonna make her a little sheer cape and I'm gonna add on some of my horse eye gems to the bottom of it again, just to try and match the little outfit that she is wearing in Frozen 2. So there we go guys, very cute. Okay guys, I think we are almost done. Let's just attach Anna's cape. I'm just using some hot glue and I'll just attach it to the top of her neck there. And I'll also glue her crown in place. There we go, oh guys, I love Anna. She's my favorite. I don't know what you guys think. You're gonna have to let me know in the comments. She is so cute. Okay, I've made a couple of bases. I've used a bit of plaster of Paris and I've decorated them up to make them look a bit spangly. I'm gonna add some purple gems onto this once my glitter is dry. And now I'm gonna stick my dolls onto their bases. And this is just to help them stand up a little bit better so I can display them. Let's get our Queen Anna in place. So here we have it guys. This is what they look like in the picture got those lovely outfits. I don't know if you can see Anna's purple and teal cape. And there is Elsa with her little sheer cape that is very hard to see on screen, I know. But there is our completed Queen Elsa from Frozen 2. And here is our little Queen Anna in her lovely little cape. She's got her little crown on and she is so cute. I love her little smile and her little teeth. And there they are together. Okay guys, so I have finished making these now. I would love to know what you guys think. Who is your favorite, Elsa or Anna? I have to say, obviously we all love Elsa, but Anna is my absolute favorite. Look at that little face. I absolutely love the way she turned out. So guys, hit the thumbs up for me if you enjoyed watching this. And if you haven't done so, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all really, really soon. Thanks for watching my video, guys. I'm sending you loads and loads of love. Bye for now. Bye-bye.